Today we'll be getting into some stories with Roman Reigns and a potential new twist, Sasha Banks' bold claim, and a new theory for Alexa Bliss vs Becky Lynch. Let's start things off with Sasha Banks' bold claim. Sasha Banks will be turning only 30 years old on January 26, 2022, so hasn't even reached the prime of her career yet, and she already has a Hall of Fame career behind her. Sasha's 20s were full, with nothing but great success from her early days in NXT to her days as NXT Women's Champion, getting called up to the main roster, capturing all these titles, and most recently, main eventing WrestleMania. She can retire today and still have a Hall of Fame worthy career. That's how great the last 10 years have been for her in WWE. Five time Raw Women's Champion, former SmackDown Women's Champion, two time Tag Team Champion, former NXT Champion, and the list just goes on and on for days. But something Sasha Banks has never done in her amazing career so far is win the Royal Rumble match. And that's what Sasha's bold claim was. WWE posted a graphic highlighting Sasha's 2021 and everything she accomplished during that year. Sasha quoted the tweet from WWE, predicting and adding on another future accomplishment by tweeting, Royal Rumble 2022 winner. The tweet blew up because that's actually possible this year for Sasha Banks. Sasha Banks hasn't competed in the Royal Rumble match in a few years, since obviously she was champion during last year's Rumble event so there was no need for her to enter the match. But Sasha is heading into the 2022 Royal Rumble with no title in her possession, freeing her up to enter this year's match. Sasha Banks is truly only missing a few things from her stat sheet. Those things being a Royal Rumble win, Money in the Bank win, and of course, a WrestleMania win. Sasha has competed at six WrestleManias, but a very shocking statistic Sasha is still looking for her first WrestleMania win. She has a record of zero wins and six losses at the biggest event of the year for WWE. So if she does win the Royal Rumble, she'll check that off her list, and the Rumble win will obviously confirm her ticket to a title match at WrestleMania. If she pulls off that win for the title at WrestleMania, that'll be her first WrestleMania victory. Plus, the Rumble win stacked on top of that which has grown the legend of Sasha Banks even more. So, just looking at the roster right now, Sasha Banks should be considered a big favorite for the Royal Rumble match. But this year is going to be interesting because there's a lot of big names about to return, such as Alexa Bliss, Bailey, Asuka, and more. Things are going to be very interesting around Royal Rumble and WrestleMania season this year. So, can Sasha overcome these odds and start 2022 off with a Royal Rumble win and win her first WrestleMania win? That's what we'll have to wait on. The split between Roman Reigns and Paul Heyman has been one of the most talked about topics in the community since that moment went down. We knew for months that everything would be leading to that moment, but it was still quite a shocker. Everyone has questions now about what's next. How will Roman run things alone? and what will Heyman do next? Earlier in the week, we talked about how fans were having the discussion that Heyman should stay away from Lesnar because everyone is enjoying this new side of Brock Lesnar that we're seeing. Well, wrestling legend DDP recently added onto the discussion by throwing in his own theory and idea. While speaking with Sports Kita, DDP had this to say, quote, Paul Heyman will never be a babyface any day. So, maybe it's a double crisscross and Heyman has something to do with Brock Lesnar losing, which gives that bump up and back to Roman like a double switch turn." End quote. That is a popular theory and something we discussed for WWE Day 1. Paul Heyman is a wild card now. We know that he's not with Roman anymore, but he's technically not with Brock either. So, it's as if he's a free agent between the both of them right now. Brock Lesnar is babyface at the moment, and like DDP says, it's hard to put Paul Heyman's character in a babyface role, so he really doesn't see Heyman and Lesnar reuniting for that reason alone. Heyman would make the fans question if Brock truly is a babyface if he links back up with him. So that's why DDP says that it can be some big double cross where Heyman would do something to cost Brock Lesnar the match. 
Roman being right there in the heat of the moment, watching as Heyman screws Brock Lesnar over, may just be enough to win Roman's trust back, and Heyman would be right back to Roman's corner. Unless they plan on fully switching everything around, to where Roman is the babyface and Brock Lesnar is the heel. It does seem pretty weird to link Heyman and Lesnar back up again at this very moment, unless something big happens again that will make more sense. Or maybe they do just turn Heyman's character babyface, and that frees up the logic for him to join Brock Lesnar. But the issue everyone has is that, despite the breakup moment, everyone still views Heyman as a heel. So, that's what's really throwing a wrench into this story. So that's a real possibility. Maybe this is just a fake-out breakup, and Heyman will find his way back to Roman's heart. We'll have to see how that plays out. As great as the Becky Lynch and Liv Morgan storyline has been over the last few months, everyone expects Becky Lynch to cross paths with a new challenger after day one. There's a lot of names out there such as Bianca Belair, Rhea Ripley, and more. But the biggest name of all would be the returning Alexa Bliss. Alexa Bliss was last seen in a Raw Women's title match that obviously didn't go as planned. So, a lot of fans have been discussing the idea of Alexa Bliss returning right where she left off, and that's of course the main event title picture. The matchup and story between Alexa Bliss and Becky Lynch would be great, because there's a lot of history there between the two massive stars. Alexa Bliss won her first ever WWE title from Becky Lynch, and Becky Lynch lost her first ever WWE title to Alexa Bliss. They had a deep feud back in late 2016, but haven't crossed paths that much ever since. So in a way, it'll feel like a very fresh matchup since we really haven't seen them work together in over 5 years now, and obviously both characters have changed immensely since their last title meeting. Back in those days, Alexa was in her 5 feet of fury era and Becky was in her last kicker era. Both of them no longer have any ties to those old personas. Becky Lynch is now a cocky heel character, and Alexa Bliss, well, no one really knows what Alexa will look like upon her return. Maybe she keeps the supernatural era going, maybe she's back to normal, maybe it's something fully new. No one really knows what she'll look like. But one thing that's for certain is that Alexa is going to want that title no matter what her character is. So that's why it really feels like we're destined to see Alexa Bliss vs Becky Lynch possibly in early 2022. Would you like to see that matchup take place, and what are your thoughts on all of today's stories? Leave your comments below, don't forget to subscribe with all notifications on, and leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching guys!